Hey guys, Carla here to talk to you about our Yip WooCommerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. With this plugin, you can create different options as blocks and add them to your products pages. So you can create options in the form of text fields, checkboxes, radio buttons, labels, images, and more. You can choose to add these options for free, or you can increase the base price of the product when selected. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an options block and assign it to a specific product. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so here is my shop, and it's the site that I will be using for this video. I'm going to choose this face print t-shirt this is a simple product, it doesn't have any options. And what I'm going to do is add three options using my Yid WooCommerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. So, I'm going to add the options to choose a color, choose a size, and an option for the customer to enter a custom text so that we can print that on the shirt. So, let's go to my dashboard Yid, product add-ons, add blog, let's enter a name, let me name it first block. This is just for you so that you know which block you're referring to because obviously in the future you're going to have more than one. Um, this block priority level this is very important because this is the priority that you're going to assign to this rule that you're going to create here in this block so we're going to create the options for a t-shirt a specific product the t-shirt belongs to the clothes category so let's say i have a block of options for the shirt and then i have a block of options for the entire clothes category so in this case, if I had another block that was assigned to the cloth category and it had the priority level two, this means that this block will be shown above the other ones in the product page as it has the highest priority level. So I'm assigning priority level one to this. Now add option. You can see that you have a number of options to add. You have input text, you have a color swatch, you have number, you have radio buttons, you have label, image, product, dates, anything. Now, the first option I'm going to add is the option to select a color. So I'm going to choose color swatch right now. Now, First, the title. This is the title that is shown right above the options. So maybe choose color. Okay. And you have single color swatch, double color swatch, and image swatch. I'm going to choose a swatch from right here. So I'm not going to choose the image swatch. And the first color I'm going to select is going to be a single color swatch. So, let me add the color white. So that's going to be my first option for this t-shirt. And the label is going to be white. Also the tool tip. I'm not adding a description now because it's very obvious. No image right here. This is an important option. This refers to the price of the option itself. I'm going to set this option as free. So the customer would choose this color and he would get the same price for the shirt. You also have the option to increase the main product price. So that means that you could choose to add a cost to this option. You have a fixed amount option. So you can add like five euros or you can add a percentage. And you also have the option to discount the main product price. 
You also have the same options there, fixed amount or percentage. Right now, I'm just going to leave this option as free. Here you have select by default. For this option, I am going to select this as default so that the shirt is white unless you select the other color. So I'm going to add a new option and this is going to be my second color swatch and I'm going to select double color swatch. I'm going to make this available in the say green there we go something like that label is going to be uh, the name tooltip the same no image here no description not changing the price this is not going to be selected because of course I chose that for the first option which is white and save. So now we have our first option. Let me add another one which is going to be the size. So for this one I'm going to choose label. For the title of this option I'm going to add choose size let's add the usual small medium large so first small no image here no description I'm not going to change the price and I'm going to choose this size as the default size a new option And we're adding a final option as input text so that the customers can type any text and maybe have it printed on the t-shirt. Title, let's do custom text to print. Going to use the same for label and tall tip. No description, no image. Now for the price. I do want to change the price of my t-shirt if the customers add a random text for me to print on it. So I will increase the main product price. I'm adding five euros here. I have the fixed amount option right here. You can change it for a percentage or price multiplied by string length. I'm just going to choose a fixed amount of five euros. And here you have a new rule, limit input characters. I'm going to enable this rule. And I'm going to set the limit to 20 characters. Now that I have created these three options, I'm going to save. And let's go to rules. And this is the place where I assign these options, this block to a specific product or to all products or to a specific category maybe. For this video, I told you that I was going to create these options only for my face print t-shirt. So specific products and categories and here I'm going to type face print t-shirt. You also have this option to either show options to all users, only to logged in users, or only to specific user roles. I'm going to show these options to all users, save, back to the site, Refresh, and there you have my new options created with my Edible Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. 
so I have the two colors right here. I have the white color selected as default. I have the small size selected as default. If I change these options, I'm not going to be changing the price. I have euros right here set up in my shop, but you might have a different currency. It doesn't matter. Um, and finally, I have the custom text to print option. Here it specifies that if I choose that, I'm going to be adding five euros to the price. So let's type anything. Hello. And the price was updated. I have five euros for my options. And this is the new order total. So that's how you can create an options block using our Yeetbook Commerce product add-ons and extra options and assign that block to a specific product. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.